hi and welcome back to another quick tip tutorial uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can create such a wall decoration for your architectural design I got this uh, request from uh, Mike from Mumbai so first of all how to quickly create such decoration I think the best is to just select the rectangular under create and shapes and then select circle and move it into position of one corner that you want to have like this I exaggerated here but you do whatever you want to do so then just select rectangular convert it to editable spline and attach the circle to it now turn off select and select spline and select the rectangle and under geometry under boolean uh, you should select subtraction and click on boolean and click on the circle then what you need to do is under modifiers modifier list symmetry and flip it and another symmetry and y-axis and then just click on the top one uh, with the right mouse click and collapse to and convert it to editable poly select border click on the border select edge and here under edge edit edges create shape from selection linear it has to be linear and ok and then select the edit poly and just delete it and here you have your editable spline and now just create the profile of the element that you want to create I normally just create the half of it and then just mirror it over fire here up to mirror and copy and then just move it to the side and attach it press 1 on the keyboard and select these top vertices and weld you need to adjust this uh, value if it doesn't weld uh, immediately and then just select the editable spline and sweep modifier select use custom section pick and pick the profile that you just created and voila uh, now under sweep parameters you can uh, you can play around with the settings as you can see here these corners are sharp if you don't want that uh, you just tick smooth pad and you will see it uh, everything is a little bit jagged and the best thing at this stage is you can just create something different by selecting uh, by selecting the vertices and just converting them to uh, Bezier or something similar like this right click on it Bezier corner come on and then just move it around a little bit so you can adjust these handles and as you can see uh, it immediately uh, correspond to the uh, model that you created so you just uh, control how your model looks by uh, moving the vertices resizing the pattern won't work you need to uh, move separate vertices or all together to uh, adjust the look of your pattern so this was pretty much it for today for this video uh, check out the rest of my videos on my youtube channel subscribe like share and till next time bye